Hey everyone, this is Hugh Starcraft and NS bringing you another Starcraft 2 commentary. So this one we found on game replays um, as well. It's a Liquid TLO um, playing as the Red Terran at the 12 o'clock position and um, Hasu here at the bottom playing as the Protoss. Uh, it is on Metalopolis, so uh, they are spawning at two different locations here, so rushing probably not going to end up working on this four-player map. Before I get too carried away, I'm going to let NS uh, introduce himself. Hey guys, it's NS. Uh, very excited to be casting this game, actually, because TLO and Hasu are both very good players from two different clans. This is a bit of an inter-clan battle here, and I actually haven't seen any of TLO's games in quite a while. And as anybody who has watched some of his past games knows, he always tends to go these crazy different builds, getting mass Thors, mass battle cruisers, nukes, the high-tech stuff you don't ever see normal players going in pro league games. So very excited to see this game. Uh, hopefully he'll do some crazy stuff in this game, and we'll see how this goes. Yep. Um, so looks like this probe is gonna scout. Um, just being a Protoss player, you can warp in that pylon and then send that probe directly um, on scouting, where the SCV has to finish be building the supply depot if you want to use that SCV. So a little bit of a head start here as Liquid is not okay there goes the scout um so something else i do just want to mention quickly is that you did see that probe swing by the zelnaga tower in the middle of the map because sometimes what players do on this map is lift their command center off as soon as it starts and try to grab that high yield you don't see it too much at the higher levels but i have seen it done sometimes i was uh, watching a game of tasteless the other day where he did that so always good to swing by there when you play a turn on this map just to make sure they're not trying that yeah that um i've seen done at least twice it is always good i mean if you're not going to be scouted but the positioning of those l not l the l not all right we're gonna redo that part so i have seen it twice done but the zelnaga towers do show um they would show probes mining on either base so just one quick stop by either of those towers and you can see exactly if there is a base there or not so we do have uh, TLO getting a fast cyber core here, deciding to skip that first zealot and go for a stalker instead. So um, a lot of reasons he would be doing that. Just it's really a personal preference thing, I think. Uh, it does depend on what the other player does. It does seem like TLO is just going his one marine out, getting the tech lab right now. So it's not going for any kind of early rush. This little delay in getting units out probably isn't going to hurt Hasu at all. And he does have the rally point set to that SCV, actually just changing that up now. So he is going to try to kill that SCV with the Stalker as soon as it comes out. Uh, no, actually, Stalker going out of the base, letting the SCV stay there. Looking uh, for proxies. For proxy. yep. Yep. Um, so that's definitely something you want to do, especially when you're playing TLO, because he is known for going some crazy builds. This game is seems to be a little bit more standard. Um, Actually, we do have a Hellion and a Reaper on the way from the factory in the tech lab, so expect to see some early harassment there. Of course, he has to go deep disprove me when I say that. So he is going Destiny Cloudfist with a little bit of a um, change here with that barracks. So that Reaper and Hellion leaving both at pretty much the same time. Uh, the Reaper can jump all the walls, so he will probably get there first. I don't think he has the upgrade. No. No upgrade for him, so he's not going to move. But this Stalker... Um, is going to be caught out of place here if he doesn't do something quickly, but a very good counter against uh, Reaper, but that stalker is way out of place. Um, there is nothing in this base, so... Actually, we do have a Stargate coming out for Hasso, and unfortunately this is probably going to get scouted by this Hellion. Maybe not, actually. Okay, there it goes. It does see that Stargate, and isn't going to be able to tell quite what's coming out of it yet, but there is going to be a phoenix, so uh, probably going for some harassment of the SCVs there. So good play by uh, TLO there, even if he didn't manage to get too many kills, he did see the Stargate and know that there were going to be some early flying units, so that is going to be very valuable scouting information for him there. Well, talking about units lost there, um, definitely paid off for the Reaper and Hellion. Oh, wow. Um, I did not see that, That actually. Hellion had nine kills, I didn't get a quick check on um, the Reaper, but uh, definitely uh, economic hurt. You have to then take into account the lost mining time. Um, so had to pull all his probes off to try and deal with that and lost a lot. So another uh, Hellion coming in here, but I believe, yeah, he's got 
enough force to deal with that at this point. So I really don't think these are going to be a Viking over here. So maybe he's going to drop a Viking in the back, see what he can do there. I don't think. Meanwhile, we do have some Phoenix Harass going on in TLO's base, picking up those SCVs and shooting them down. They have gotten two so far, but they actually ran out of energy. Hasu rushing in with those a little bit too early, so he is going to pull out now, I believe. Those Marines are going to get a couple shots off as the Phoenix try to snipe the Medivac, and it looks like they might be able to get it. Oh, yes. yeah, that does go it down. It does go down, pulling all those SCVs off to try to repair it, losing one Phoenix in the process. So you did get a number of SCV kills there, but in terms of the uh, Phoenix from Medivac trade, not really sure that was worth it So for the him. Viking Especially is now dropping Stalker. inside the base, but it's going to be quickly spotted by these Stalkers, and he is just going to die. So really didn't pay off for um, that Viking there, as uh, just quick reaction time with these Stalkers prevented, I think, maybe, maybe he got one kill or something off it. Really not worth it in the end, though. You know, we do actually have this bunker going up at the front of TLO's base. Been there for a while, probably, but I didn't notice it before. Two marauders in that to try to hold the choke. The Phoenix is coming back just for scouting this time, I assume. Um, it is just barely going to dodge that. Actually, that's a Hellion. I thought that was the Viking. So, uh, it is going to see that Hellion just scouting around the map a little bit. I think both those units are really just being used for scouting half the moment. Yeah, that, these stalkers now coming over. Oh, and Graviton beaming it just to hold it there for a little bit longer as these stalkers are going to now take it out. So good little play there just to get a little bit of an edge uh, after losing those early SCV, or er, probes, rather. Ooh, we do have a siege tank on the way, or out, rather, for TLO. Um... He is going to siege check as well. Also building a command center, so he's probably going to plan to expand soon. Meanwhile, we do have Blink being researched uh, for Hasu right now. Apologize for the fact that I get a little behind on production. I opened the unit's lost tab and forgot to switch it back, so I wasn't really paying too much attention to that. Yep, so good. Sick. Tilo putting down missile turrets behind his mineral line to try to defend against these phoenixes. Always a good idea when you see um, your opponent using them. So this phoenix now is going to be able to give sight to these stalkers who are going to quickly try and take out this um, siege. Er, sorry. Good uh, point. Er. Can't, er, bleh, uh, bleh, uh, bleh. Siege. siege tank. All right, there we go. Missile turret as well. Uh, I'm actually surprised Hasu didn't try to blink up there because he does have the blink finish. He does have the Phoenix there giving sight. I guess he wanted to avoid getting his units trapped up there while he was waiting for the blink to cool yeah, down. So he just decided to just take stuff out from the low ground so he could fall back more easily. Yeah, um, just with that amount of stalkers, there was a lot of Marines up there. Plus, the bunker would have come in play. Um, so. Oh, we have a fusion core on the way for TLO. Oh, you know what that fusion means. core. We got battle cruisers on the way. So another Hellion getting trapped over here. Um, always sniping these, catching up. Oh, he even took over um, on the u units lost tab. So interesting there. Um, gaining back all that lost uh, m mining time just because he is now out microing um, his opponent. We do have a Templar Archives on the way for Hasu, meanwhile. I guess he did see this fairly large marine ball with a few marauders scattered into it, so he knew that storms would be fairly effective against that. Uh, Tilo trying to move his command center over. Hasu deciding he can't really block that with the Stalkers because of that nice siege tank placement there on the high ground. Going to protect that landing zone. And we also do have a few uh, units moving out of the bunker there to protect that. Another barracks on the way for Tilo, actually. Meanwhile, charge being researched for zealots for Hasu. Although, unless I'm missing something, he 